Hello my lovely people, how are you all doing? I pray that everyone is in their best times. Uh, welcome to my channel. If it is your first time here, I am Christine. You are super, super welcome to this episode. Uh, today, I was led to share about how Christians fight or how we are supposed to fight spiritually. I have seen uh, some Christians fighting like how the world fights, yet our fight should or is supposed to be a whole lot different. How a Christian fights is uh, uniquely different from ordinary people, ordinary men. If you are a Christian, you fight differently. That's what I'm trying to say here. And the Bible says that our weapon for fighting is the word of God. So we need to know how to use the word to fight whatever is fighting us. We are not supposed to fight physically. I felt that we should uh, share this today, how we fight as Christians. We need to know how to fight right, you know? So the Bible says that the greatest weapon that we have is the word of God. Actually, in Ephesians, uh, let me see, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 17 calls it the sword of the spirit. It is the sword that we use to fight our wars. So I have seen many Christians who want to fight as ordinary men fight or as the world fights. But the Bible is telling us in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, this one we are reading it. It is 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 3. Let us begin from verse 3. It says, For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. This is how we fight. We fight using the word of God. When you are attacked out there, when someone slanders you, when they backbite you, you don't send the same, the same way they are doing it. For you, you choose the word of God and it will help you out a lot. And actually, it will, you find that you are peaceful when you use the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, you find that you are peaceful even when the world is against you or when the enemy is attacking you with this and that. You find answers in the word of God and when you use the word of God, even the devil knows actually, because he is our only enemy, but I'll share that in a different uh, video. And concerning uh, this verse that I have read, I have shared about it before talking about our personal warfare yeah I'll also leave that video linked here so that you connect those dots because in the previous one I was sharing about your personal warfare how to do spiritual warfare I think that is the title but I'll leave it linked here and um, Another one that I will attach is um, about, I, I want to title it, not every war you must fight. Yeah, they are, Not every war is to be fought. Some things you let them be. I will share that in another video. But I was so encouraged by this today morning when I read that the word of God is the sword of the spirit. Because when you speak the word of God, 
even the devil who is our enemy the devil knows that you know the truth and the truth is setting you free from it it knows when when you speak the word to the enemy or to the devil he knows this is the oracle of god and the devil knows once the word comes in it is no longer your war and the devil it is now god and the devil because you are speaking the word and we all know that he is the word you know what john says in the beginning was the word and the word was how does it say it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god the same was in the beginning with god all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made so you realize that even the devil is um god created the devil you understand so he knows that once god speaks it is a done a finished work so learn to use the word because the devil knows that it is god himself the word praise the lord when you use the word you know that there is no weapon formed against you can ever prosper you are sure that there is no weapon that can win this weapon which is the word of god so you end up being more than a conqueror all the time once you are faced by devil's attacks where once you are faced with different challenges you find that you have an answer ready to fight back and once you fight back with the word the devil will definitely know this person is god speaking so i am not going to win this war let me back her you understand so let me leave it at that be blessed kindly watch even the video that i'm attaching here about um spiritual warfare this is a good addition to the other one so kindly watch them usually i keep them short so that they are easy to run through and you go and do your you run your other things yeah stay blessed i love you and pray for each one of you kindly subscribe comment share and like the video so that it remains afloat and that way you are also participating in spreading the good news to the ends of the earth helping out another believer another christian out there to walk this journey of salvation guys i'll definitely see you on my next one adios shalom